All right, everybody out there in the Craft Chest Nation, it's I, Craft Chest, here to show you a run-through of the Heaven Benchmark. And I did this one time before, and I wasn't prepared. I was and I wasn't. I didn't really bring up any scores of comparison, CPU, GPUs of comparison, uh, to actually benchmark the RX 480 in the way that I wanted to benchmark it. And we want to make a run-through on the heaven engine which i think i closed out for whatever reason let's open this back up all right and what we're going to do is jump straight in to the extreme and actually run a live test i've already done this once but i want to be sure that you know that i'm not just screenshotting this stuff and and photoshopping into whatever else and this is on the build this is the rx 480 we are running the uh 880k cpu it is the A10 uh, processor. You'll see it pop up there, so I'm not going to hide anything like that. But it essentially is running the 880K processor in it. Reason why I left it in there is that the turbo frequency is a couple of tick marks above the actual 880K. And I could very well put that chip in there, but it's going to run the same. It's the same exact CPU uh, as the 880K. It's just that we don't have any activity whatsoever from the video drivers they're not even installed the computer doesn't even know they're there the only thing that it recognizes which we went over uh in a prior video and live stream i showed everybody that it is uh only running the rx 480 for graphics we do have the 2400 overclock ram uh by team dark and looking over some of these scores just to give you a, a ground of where the score landed uh, right at the first benchmark that we did was right at 1799 the closest one that it got to was the 1800 one under normal setting this is high settings by the way was an i7 let me get the line here i7 uh 2700k which was actually a sandy bridge if i'm not mistaken five gigahertz really they were running that thing at five gigs they must have overclocked that or something a GTX 980 and their score was 1800 uh, an AMD comparison was 1788 which would have been the closest to that one which was running in FX 8320 at 4.5 on a 780 Ti and the only other one close to it was an 1809 score on an i7 5930 running at 4.6 on a GTX 980 all right and that's under those um, under the other score, which was the extreme score of 1800, oh, that was 18, no, wait, no, it wasn't. Let's find the other one. Uh, 1580. Okay, it drops off a little bit. So 1580, the closest thing to it was the uh, i5 4690K, 4.2 on a 970, a GTX 970. Uh, was close to it. The other one is an i5 4460 3.2 on a 970 and let's see da, 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 da. an i7 3770 3.5 gigahertz on a 780. So the 970 and the 980 are right there at it. Um, after this run through we'll give you the actual you know the actual uh, visual up here of the benchmark results the 1080p benchmark results on this uh, were 71 frames a second, scored right at 1800, minimum frames 24.9, maximum frames 145, uh, and that's running DirectX 11 under high normal tessellation. Now that's usually how I play games, just on high settings. You know, I don't need ultra mega to the deluxe because there are limitations to what a 1080p monitor can do, and that's pretty much it. And if I see where I can squeak out a little bit more smoothness and uh, we don't get any tearing or jitteriness or refresh issues or whatever, yeah, we'll bump it up a little bit. But under normal circumstances, for the regular everyday Joe out there, this is pretty much what they're playing on. is a 1080p monitor, an LCD monitor, LED monitor. Uh, not everybody has a 2K. Not everybody has a 4K or even in any free sync. I know free syncs are more uh, readily available to people in their cost range, um, as well as the G-Sync monitors for people that run the GTX uh, card. So let's see, you see right here, I'm running extreme. 
Uh, I am going to leave it. It won't even let me click full screen on here. So we'll just let it run. Now, let's go over the Crimson uh, Wattman right quick just to let you know what this is going to be running at. Uh, the last activity that it had, the GPU is running at a frequency of 1350 megahertz. That's only two tick marks off of where it's supposed to be. Uh, 1352, give or take. I don't know. It just rounds it down, I guess. Uh, the memory is 2000 megahertz, of course. Uh, it spiked at 82C. That was on the last test. And we are running 5% above the factory overclock of 1288. We tried to get that 1366 squeezed out of it, but it was just a little bit much for this system. Because remember, we're running on a $700 rig. And yes, I'm saying $700 because there's a lot of people out there said, hey, you left out the operating system. But you can get keys from like Kingwin, uh, relatively cheap, which still keeps it in that $700 range, whether it's Windows 7, 8, or 10. You can buy them. I, I just looked. The highest price one I saw on there was like 28 bucks. And when we did the actual calculations on this one, um, what did we say? 762 or 772? Or, uh, or I'm sorry, 670 or something. That still keeps you right there at that $700 mark. GG. All right, so let's run into this uh, a little bit farther. Uh, far, farther. I can't even say it. A little bit farther. Uh, the temperature as it's sitting at idle is 41C. Uh, running at 741 RPMs and the reason why I'm going over that is because these benchmarks push these these computers to the limit and we are going to be doing the preset of extreme I don't think there's anything higher than that you have custom basic and extreme that's the only three choices you have now I'm sure there's other choices that you could uh, get on a paid version but understand this is a free heaven benchmark and if there's another engine out there uh, that is better than this one then I'll get it in the future you guys can let me know what you'd like to see as long as it's free or if you'd like to donate a copy to me all right so let's do this let's run this and the music's gonna be loud because I don't know how to turn it down I could turn it off I guess so let's run this but I'm not gonna turn it off I'm just gonna let it run and once it loads itself up I'll move the window up turn myself off and mute the mic and let it run. All right, let's see if it'll let me move it now. I'm going to move it up here. All right. Now I'm going to mute. Let it run. And let the benchmarks begin.
And we wait on it to tally up the results and let's see how the second pass, or actually this is now the fourth pass I've done. Uh, two under regular and two under extreme. And it looks like we got 63 frames a second. Uh, this time we scored a 1588. What did I say we scored before? Wasn't it like a 1580? So it actually went up a little bit. And there you go. So let's see what the close score is to that 1588, which is down this way, 1588. Closest one to that is uh, on a Sandy Bridge, actually. I do. I have that processor in this the piece. The one that's recording this, the same processor, the uh, i5-2500K running under the 290 or R R9-290. Uh, they scored right at the uh, same thing, uh, 1589. The next closest is an i7-3770 at 5 gigahertz on a 970. It's a GTX 970. And their score is right there, just above that one. And below it, let's go below because, you know, you're going to get different results and all that. Uh, the i5-4600 or 4460, I can't even read, is running 3.2 on a GTX 970, and it scored a 1585. And next to that, an i7-4770, 3.5 on a GTX 780. So there you go. It's pretty close to uh, the 970. I mean, it's right on, not even close to it, it is. It's right there in the mix with the 970. And these are running the extreme versions of this particular one. Now on the, like I said before, on the actual high settings, the normal settings, it was keeping up with the 980s. What did I say that score was before? Like a 18 something, whatever I said it was, but it was actually up there with the GTX 980. Yeah, there it is right there. It, yeah, the GTX 980 is above it and below it. So it's right there in the mix under the regular high settings, all right? Extreme settings is there with the 970. So, hey, it is what it is, okay? I am not gonna make this up. Take these scores, go compare them for yourself, and anything that's 60 frames a second on any game or any engine that you're running, uh, that's running 60 plus on a 1080 monitor on a $700 build, I'd say that's GG, all right? I don't have a problem with that at all. That, personally, I don't. Not for the money that we put into this computer right here. Um, so there you go. It is what it is. Let me go ahead and stop rambling. And that's the first of many videos, I hope, to bring to everybody out there. We'll show you some beautiful gameplay of the games that I'm going to be sharing with you in the future you know the terra path of exile h1z1 black desert diablo 3 the list goes on we might even deep dive into some older games out there so, I, borderlands have been calling my name borderlands I, I love borderlands borderlands 2 especially that's quite fun um whatever oh yeah elite dangerous i keep leaving elite dangerous out of that because I don't know, ever since I've switched computers, I could go over here to this computer all day long and have my voice attack and everything else on it, but I don't want to digress. So there you go. Let's save that score. All right, close it out with this, and let's go to the catalyst, or the uh, catalyst, I keep saying catalyst, and see what the actual peak out was on that. All right, it hasn't really changed. I mean, we peaked out at 82C. I thought I closed that. Close that. Get out. All right, we peaked out at 82C on the temp. Uh, fan speed went to 2201. The GPU frequency is 1350. Once again, I did receive this card overclock, so it's not like I went extreme away from the actual factory specs. It's only a 5% boost. Uh, so for anybody out there that wants to know what you could do in the Wattman as far as boosting a little bit more performance, I would say 1350 or below is safe now if you do have a better setup cpu and ram and motherboard and you want to go into the actual global settings and do the power efficiency and the compatibility mode uh, you could do that that's probably another test that i'm going to do in the near future is turning these two these two things on but i haven't seen a problem i haven't seen any you know uh power issues with the computer running 
the games under this particular frequency. So we're just going to leave it alone. All right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Find a sweet spot and leave it alone. All right? That's all I can say. And with that, I'm done. I didn't want this to be a 30-minute video, but you know me. <laughs> it's a craft of the mind. Go out there and have some fun. Woo! RX 480. Let's get another one.